Then, if a person passes away, we all say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. But to follow that janaza, to show an interest in it, to go and express condolences, sympathy, say a little dua for them, uh, to make them feel good. Just like when a person is sick and ill, if you were to say, May Allah bless you, may Allah grant you goodness, may Allah cure you. These are good words. They enhance the person's feelings. You don't go there and say, Hey, you're not looking well, man. How long have the doctors given you? Two days. Hey, I think you might just go in a day. When someone passes away, you don't say, Your son was on drugs. Hey, I wonder what's going to happen now. Because you see, in the, in, the, in the grave, there's a big punishment happening, you know. When someone passes away, you don't talk like that. You give the people hope. You say, Inshallah, may Allah give them Jannah to Firdaus. No matter who they were, may Allah grant them Jannah. Subhanallah. When someone is alive, you can speak about hellfire. You can speak about the warnings and so on. No, not when they're about to die. When they're about to die, I spoke about it the other day. You can, you can hear it, Inshallah. But you don't say that. But generally, if I were to talk to you now and remind you, look, we need to do good because there is heaven, there is hell and so on. It's good to talk. It's good to remind each other about what's happening. And it's good to remind each other the goodness so we can work towards it and the bad so that we can protect ourselves from it. But when someone's passed away, go there minimum time again. Don't just sit there and expect food. I know in some cultures across the world, not just in this part of the world, but a lot of places, it's very expensive to die. Because when someone dies, they put up a tent in the house. They have food that they prepare for how long they, you know, intercontinental comes and do catering such that people are looking. Hey, tell us, we, there's a WhatsApp group of deaths. So we need to know where people have died so we can go and eat. I hope that doesn't happen here. But I promise you, it is happening in some communities. We've converted it into a punishment. Someone passes away, it's so tough on the family members. Someone is sick and ill. When you go, make it clear that you don't want tea or anything. You settle for water, if anything. You are going, what are you here for? You know, I have this problem at my home where the little office that I have, people come sometimes with their problems and issues. So when people come, we are polite, you know, and I, I talk. It's like a doctor's uh, surgery, for example. Uh, they'll come with their issues. My mother always comes and says, ask them, will they have tea or coffee or whatever? And I'm like, they didn't come for tea or coffee. And they didn't come for tea or coffee. Leave them. And because my mother is, you know, still of that generation whereby she feels, no, these are your guests. You've got to honor them. You have to give them. And I'm thinking if that's the case, I'm going to be one of the biggest buyers of coffee and tea. And there's going to be a tent here. People will come in even if they don't have a problem. Let's go and have some tea. Because that's how the world's become. So when you go to someone for a purpose, make sure you make it clear. I'm not having anything to eat or drink. I've just come here for two minutes, five minutes, and then leave after that. The worst guest is he who doesn't know when to go. That's the worst. Ask the women, they'll tell you. Because they've got children sometimes, they need to get up the following morning, the kids sometimes sleeping, not sleeping, and you're busy sitting there enjoying yourself, talking, watching TV, watching a boxing match, watching a, a football match. That's not the quality of a Muslim. Consideration is a word we need to start enacting. Consider, be considerate. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. So when a person passes away to follow the janazah for the men to actually go to the graveyard and to bury the person, great reward because it reminds you of who exactly you are, where you came from and where you're going. Primarily, that's the reason.